Hike and Seeker just showing you today how to change the tips on my trekking pole and general maintenance I've got the Compadel poles they're an aluminium composite pole and this is all I need to do to take the take the tips off this pole to take the pole there and you get a crescent spanner like that so it just slides nicely up and down the pole Then all you're going to do on this particular pole is give it a quick smack on the end, like that, and the ends come off there. Here's the tip off the end, you've got the carbide tip there, and I just replaced, I've only replaced them once, but I bought this whole unit here off Amazon and I think at the time it was about about thirty dollars for the whole thing with the with a carbide tip already in there and obviously this is a this is hollow in the end here so when you put it back on you just slide, slide it on like that and because it's tapered the more you use it and press on the tip the tighter it gets there's no glue underneath it or anything like that the carbon the carbon fiber poles some of them aren't tapered they're just straight on this tip here is actually glued on to some of them now how you're going to get that off if it's glued on you can heat some water up to boiling point and put this tip here into the boiling water for about 10 minutes and that will soften the glue up underneath and then you should be able to hit it with, a, with the uh, crescent spanner again and, and take it off like that and then some of the lecky ones have got a pin through them and you can, you can uh, change them by taking the pin out As I say, these ones don't need any glue. Even now I've got it loose, it comes off easy at the moment. But once I start walking and push on that, the more the, the more I push down on the trekking pole, the tighter that comes up the shaft. So you don't need any glue on this at all. That's the same with the carbon fibre ones. Once you've got once you've got the tip off, if you want to glue it on, I suggest you just use just use some uh, good silicon like a bathroom sealant, something like that, clear sealant put a couple of dabs of that on then put your uh, plastic end back on and also with the trekking poles I mean, obviously not every time but when you're going out in really really muddy conditions you take them apart like that so you've got all the all the parts like that that's the top one there's not much you can do about that one they both feed into that one but these two here, I mean, I use, you know, after, after it's wet, I give them a, a, a wipe over with a clean cloth, and I and I sometimes use a bit of the, uh, you know, the really light. So I think it's called Singer, the really light um, sewing machine oil. Just put a tiny dab of that on a cloth, and rub that up and down, just to keep them nice and thing. As I say, because these are an aluminium composite pole so that just helps them to uh, you know helps them to slide but yeah that's 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 all I do with those because the the um, this pole is hollow the one thing you don't want to do is start grabbing the end with a wrench and and taking it off that you know trying to pull it off that way because that way you make it harder for yourself because you, you're crushing the pole at the same time so as I say, there's absolutely with these types of poles, there's absolutely no need to use a wrench on them. Some of the poles you can actually try and change the tip. Some of them have got you can actually pull that apart, but these ones are a fixed unit. I just think for the amount of times you actually 
have to change them which is with these tungsten carbide tips they're really hard so you know you don't change them very often so for, for the, all the trouble you might as well just as I showed you just knock the end off and buy a whole new end so you know if you're doing that every couple of years you know that's not that's not a lot of money and it's a lot a lot less hassle let's put it that way I hope you found that useful Hike and Seeker signing out hope to catch you on the next video bye for now take care